I've rarely been so excited by any conference. I think there was so much, however, however much you go to lots of conferences, which I do, and however much you work internationally on climate change, which I do, I don't think I've ever been to a conference which has had so many, opened up so many new perspectives on ways forward, new visions of where we could be. It was extraordinary bringing together you know, so many different perspectives over the last two days in terms of you know, ideas about you know, the changing city, technology in the city, the green city. And I thought getting all those voices in one place, it's been fantastic. I mean, I've, I learned a huge amount. And so to me, walking in you know, yesterday morning and walking out uh, this afternoon, I've, my whole perspectives have changed. So I thought it was terrific. I was very interested in a lot of the dialogue and particularly the dialogue between industry and government. I thought that that was really uh, well achieved um, with the input of academia kind of influencing the agenda as well and making people think about you know, the social consequences and the ethical consequences of all this technological development. It's the first time that I'm uh, taking part of this conference and I think it was uh, very, very interesting. Um, I found it um, that it was not enough uh, talk about smaller cities and the behavior of the people and more about organizations and I would really feel that they have to concentrate on that. The obvious thing that for me was missing that I thought that there was a mismatch between the global geographic distribution of the urban age and where these questions are really pertinent and who was in the room and what were the dominant debates which was still essentially Anglo-Saxon. Uh, with some exceptions. Um, so, you know, I understand the reason for that at being in London and so forth. But I think that that was obviously something that, you know, the, a better balance could have been achieved. But it was in a stimulating, almost overwhelming experience, just the amount of uh, data, the amount of ideas, the amount of experiments, the perspectives. And in that sense, it was tremendously successful. We need to completely rethink about the models that have been applied in the past and one thing is for sure to understand the very big difference between the cities of the developed world and the cities in the developing world because there I think we have a very big shift in agenda and how to tackle the problem. Risk management and identifying security for risk management for cities in the future was a key subject that came up again and again and of course the use of how technology can play its role and the big discussion is it really technology as the savior or technology as the element the tool to help us achieve what we want to achieve and i think there may be people of difference of opinions the architects building buildings is not designing cities and we can't leave planning cities and designing them up to architects or to planners. We've got to make room for people to make their own spaces in between the buildings. How that's done, I have no idea, but that's the only way to, to build a city. What if there is a sea level rise? What if there's another hurricane? What if the urbanization is so rapid and the city's not fit for purpose? So we need, we need to think about these things. So all city leaders, all the world over, and institutions need now, I think, to have their vision. This is the direction we want to go in. And as Juan Close said, we've got to get that vision right. The vision of urbanization at the moment for most of the world is not right. This was the best urban age conference uh, of all the ones I've been to. I haven't been to all of them. But uh, I think it just gave pragmatic advice and a very positive vision of where our cities could, could head with some harsh realities. And it's really up to these kind of conferences to share the lessons, set the vision, and get on with the business of getting stuff done.